Hello everyone, welcome back to ECU Team channel. My name is Edward and today we'll be talking about ECU cloning, particularly on this computer right here. This is uh, for the Lexus LS460. And before we'll get into that, let's discuss what is cloning and why is it so important. So we have the original computer. As you can see, the part number is uh, right here. And then we have replacement computer. Part number is also right there. So let's get right into it. So ECM stands for engine control module. Essentially, it's the brain of your vehicle and it's also responsible for managing a lot of engine functions, such as how the car is driving and what's, uh, uh, how the car is driving and how the car is shifting as well. All of that is stored in the ECM. So now we go to into the cloning and uh, let's talk about it. L let's talk about it a little bit more. Uh, when we're talking about ECM cloning, we're talking about making an identical copy of the original ECM. Well, how do we do that? We're about to show you in just a moment here. Why would you clone an ECM? Well, actually, there are a lot of uh, reasons why would you do it. Uh, because let's say if the original module, let's say if the original module is damaged, either it may be water damage, burn damage, it doesn't matter. They, it's, it, it's damaged in any other, in, in any way, shape or form you will have some problems with the car uh, where the car would not give you the performance that you're looking for it would not shift properly or just in general the car would hesitate to even start so you would have a crank no start issue or the car starts but then immediately dies or it would not start at all without the crank so by cloning the ecm uh, we ensure that the replacement module behaves exactly like the original one. Essentially, it's taking the information from the original module and then putting it into the replacement one. This means that the, the car's performance will stay consistent. And also on top of that, of course, we will, uh, there will be no need for extensive programming. So another reason for the ECM cloning is the performance because on a new computer, the EC, a, a clone DCM can uh, make these changes happen. So in case if you're looking for a chip tune, for example, guess what? You can do it with this computer. As a matter of fact, with the chip tuning of these Lexus computers, make sure that you get in touch with us because we provide chip tune we provide chip tune for these cars, but this is not what we're talking about right now. So you might be wondering how long this whole entire process will take. Not long at all. The good news is that the ECM cloning, the data transfer between the original computer and the replacement computer is typically, typically done within a day. We have skilled technicians, skilled engineers who are willing to do the job properly using dealer scanner tool and other additional uh, tools that will help us transfer the information exactly how it should be transferred. Our skilled technicians have the uh, expertise and the tools required to efficiently clone these ECMs. And with that being said, it uh, brings down uh, the downtime uh, that your vehicle will be down. It, it, it's ensuring the minimal downtime for your vehicle. So whatever you're in need of a replacement of the ECM or looking to upgrade your vehicle's performance, ECM cloning is, a, is the solution that you've been looking for because not a lot of people know it. Not a lot of people uh, want to do this type of job just because they think so, oh, well, just by restoring the original computer, Essentially, that will fix the issues. Well, it won't, because if the original computer got problems, you won't be able to drive your car like you would expect it to drive. So, let me show you how we do it at ECU Team. Without further ado, no more delays, let's go. Now it's time to connect everything, just like that.
Now that we got this thing connected, that's what we do. Just like that. As you can see the VIN number is right there. We see that this is a Lexus LS 460 2007. Now we are reading out the module, we are diagnosing it. Okay, all these modules you can see that they're yellow, and yellow means that the ECU status is unknown. Well, this is because we have the computer here, not the whole entire car. And the moment we go into the engine, we read out the codes, we can see every single code that this original ECU got. Original, replacement and replacement module got already same exact VIN and the diagnostic tool was able to identify this car as the Lexus LS 460 2007. This means that the cloning process was done properly and like I said before can be done in one day. So in case if you have any questions or concerns in regards to your Lexus, comment down below because we answer to all of the comments and we'll be able to help you out if you have any questions. Don't hesitate to ask because always remember it's better to ask a question and to know the answer than not ask the question and then not know the answer. Leave a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or we'll be posting more videos. Uh, also let us know down in the comment below what type of videos you do want to receive from us because uh, you are very important to us and uh, we are doing this for you as well because we know how to do the job and we are out there we show it to you that it can be done and we can also help you out so if you have a similar problem or you have the same problem get in touch with us we will be able to help you out Thank you very much. My name is Edward. This is ECU team and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.